Hi, it's Amy with the Digital Capital Company, and in this five-part series, I'm going to show you how to use Airtable to create a simple membership directory. So what we're going to do is, this is using a free Airtable account, and as you can see on my screen, I've already set up uh, the base, I've named it, and we've got our uh, start from uh, scratch table here created an empty table and this is uh, what happens with a new table it has these default fields in here for Airtable so we're going to add in some simple fields uh, let's start with our first name field <clears throat> we're going to change this to uh, just a regular single line text and then we're going to make a last name field and before we uh, go further with some of the basic fields I want to jump right into showing you a formula field so that we can have the first name and last name uh, together as full name so let's go in here and change this to full name and we want to use a formula field here and what we're going to do is use the concatenate function to pull in um, tying the first name and the last name together as one. So what we want is first name and then we need an and sign and we're going to put a opening quote, a space, a closing quote another ampersand sign and then uh, last name will be our final field and we're going to hit save and let's test this out i'm going to type in my name and you can see here it's properly connecting first and last name together to create a full name so let's continue on let's add in business name um, and we're going to do email and let's do a website URL here and then instead of doing a full address field let's assume that this membership directory will be used in a facebook group and we're going to have members that are going to be uh, all over the world so let's make a city field and keep it a single line text instead of trying to create a drop down for someone to pick cities since there'll be so many and then over here let's do a country field and let's keep it single line text for the moment. And I'm going to show you how we can create another table to pull in uh, different countries. So let's go here and we're going to make an empty table and we're going to call this country codes. And I've already up a website, countrycode.org, that has different country codes and their actual dialing code. So when you want to call somebody, you know which uh, is the beginning dialing code. In the United States and Canada, uh, it's the number one. So we want to take all these and dump them into our table, and we certainly don't want to spend time uh, hand typing this. So let's just highlight all these fields. all the way down here we don't know where people are going to live so we're not going to worry about trying to hide some of the lesser known countries we'll just grab them all and get them in our table so let's just copy that and uh, one thing you could do uh, Airtable is really good about is if you make sure that you're that you can actually see your cursor blinking and you paste those fields in there it's going to go ahead and expand the table and excuse me while my cat takes over and i'm back and it's going to go ahead and expand the table to fit all that data in here so just click ok and give it a second and it's going to paste all of that information in 
so we don't have to type that. And as you can see, that's a lot of data. It's about 1,400 different cells. So let's go ahead and just quickly delete the fields that we don't need. And then we're going to just rename these fields so that it's a little easier to tell what we're dealing with here. So this is the country. And this is the dialing code. OK. So now let's come back over here to our regular table. And let's just uh, go ahead and rename this so it makes a little more sense. Let's call this members. So back at our country field, now let's click the drop down and we're going to customize the field type and use one of the most powerful field types that Airtable offers. And that's a link to another record. So let's click that. And what we want to do is we want to link to the country codes table. And since you can only live in one country at one time, we don't want multiple linking. So let's click save. And now when we land in here, we're going to see this plus sign and we're going to actually be able to select our country and it'll pull it in. Now that is an easy way to get several countries in there. But what is also unique is now that we have a field and table that is linked, we can pull up the dialing code automatically when someone selects their country. So we're going to call this dialing code over in here. And this is going to be a lookup field. And we are looking up to uh, country. Well, the table is linked to the country field in our table. And then we want to, when you select the country, pull out the dialing code. That's basically what this is saying. So as you can see immediately, because I selected the United States, we pulled up country code number one. So if I uh, selected Australia, you could see it's automatically going to pull in 61 for the dialing code. So that covers it for this video. In part two, we're going to continue building out our membership directory. And I hope to see you there.